All right, now some of you might be looking at rifle scopes and you'll notice that maybe it has an adjustable objective or this thing called a side parallax adjustment. Now, first off, it's important to note that actually both of these features do the exact same thing, which is correcting parallax error. They're just two different locations for having that different adjustment on the rifle scope. Now, generally speaking, a side focus parallax is easier to get to for a shooter. It's a little bit more involved manufacturing process, so you might see that on a slightly more expensive scope, but again, that doesn't mean that it's doing anything better than a scope with an adjustable objective. They're actually doing the same thing, it's just a bit more convenient for the shooter. So anyway, parallax, uh, parallax error, what exactly is that? Well, to best explain it, let's consider the fact that when we're shooting, we're kind of dealing with three different planes. And uh, the first would be our eye. The second is inside of our rifle scope and where we're using for our point of aim. And the third is then our target that we're aiming at. Now we can kind of make this with just our fingers and our eye where we have, uh, let's say this is our rifle scope, one finger, and then the next is our target. Well, right now we have them spread apart, so they're on different planes, kind of like we referred to here. And when they're on different planes and they're spread apart, if we get our eye directly in line with them, they can look like they're exactly on top of each other. Now this is just like if you're looking through your rifle scope, if you have a perfect cheek weld and your eye is directly in line with the rifle scope and its optical system, you can have it look as though this the reticle is right on top of the target and there won't be any error there. Where the parallax error starts to come into play is then as your head and your eye starts to move off axis a little bit. Maybe you don't have a perfect cheek weld. You're a little bit over to one side or up or down. It could be just about anything, but what starts to happen is, again, now we have our fingers out in front of us and we have our rifle scope and we have our uh, image out here that we're looking at. As we start to move our head around, you'll notice that even though our fingers aren't physically moving, it appears as though they're moving in relation to one another. So again, let's say we have a rifle scope that either can't account for parallax error, it doesn't have a side adjustable knob, or it doesn't have an adjustable objective. If it can't do that, then if you come and you don't have a perfect cheek weld, you might start shooting off of an error, where really your reticle is actually on top of a target, for example, but if you're over here, you might feel as though it's off to the side, and so you'll make the adjustment and the correction by moving your whole rifle, but you're actually doing that based on an error, so you might notice that you're actually missing the target left, right, up, or down, and actually what's happening is it's just parallax error. Now when we account for parallax error, what essentially we're doing is we're moving the target and the, uh, and the plane inside of our rifle scope as our point of aim onto the same plane. And so again, we can demonstrate that with our fingers here because what we're essentially doing is moving both of those to being right on top of one another. So now if our fingers are on top of one another and our head is right here, it still looks like they're covering one each other up. But as we move our head around, up, down, left, right, well, actually, they always look like they're on top of each other. So we don't get any of that parallax error, which is essentially making our fingers or, in this case, of course, our point of aim and our target look like they're moving in relation to one another. In the uh, case of shooting, it just means that you don't have to make such a conscious effort about having a perfect cheek weld every single time. If you're a little bit off, you can still know that where your reticle looks to be in your rifle scope in relation to that target is perfectly on target and you don't have to worry about any parallax error. Now, is it absolutely necessary to be precise and shoot long range? No, it's not absolutely necessary. Again, as long as you have a really good solid cheek weld and your face and your eye is nicely in line with that optical system, you can shoot out long range all day and not have any issues at all with parallax. And you can do that just, just fine with a rifle scope that doesn't account for parallax error. Is it a nice thing to have? Certainly it is, it makes it just one less thing for you to have to worry about when you're actually getting into position to shoot. If you have that parallax adjustment dialed perfectly to the distance that you're shooting at or very close, you don't have to worry so much about potential parallax error if your cheek weld is slightly off. So hopefully this helps. If you have any other questions, because this can sometimes be complicated stuff, please feel free to give us a call, shoot us an email, whatever you need to do, and we're always happy to help. But thanks for watching. We appreciate it.